this means so much, I think, for NFL players, um, for sure. Just And certainly for people who think, you know, maybe they don't have a shot, maybe they don't know if they have the chops, but they don't know until they try and succeed at it. I think this is so inspiring, Nate, and I, I don't mind telling you that, for real. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm thankful for individuals like you that are willing to voice that. Um, it's, it's a very unique situation because there is – there's still an immense amount of pressure on me as an individual to prove that uh, not only can I be a media personality, um, but also have the journalistic chops to um, really swim with, you know, some of the the best journalists in the world. And um, I, I originally went into TV because I'm a creative by nature. And as much as I love football, it was just a small part of who I was. And I've always felt like I just need people to, to see me and, and not see me in a uniform, not see me with a helmet on, not even see me as an analyst talking about the sport, but just see me. Um, you know, I, I fell in love with poetry at a young age. Uh, I'm into movies, pop culture, music. And I knew that eventually I would dive back into a space of comfort, which is um, talking about not just sports, but also news. And right now, this is a, a, a very, um, a, a very, you know, unique time for mm-hmm. athletes because we, we, um, we, we've had individuals before me. I've said this on air before. Amal Rashad was the biggest influence I ever had in my life. He was a football player transitioning to basketball, and. For the first time, I've seen a cool black man that was that was so comfortable in his own skin. And this was um, me as a youngster. Now, I know individuals came before him and came after him, but I'm talking about my immediate influence of seeing somebody that looked like me on TV was a mob or shot. And so many years later, I'm following that path. So um, I know that the seat on CBS this morning is a very privileged position. It's, 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 it's a prized piece of real estate. Mm-hmm. And there's a legacy of individuals that came before me, men and women, that I am going to honor and uphold. So it's um, it's 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 a great time, a great time to to really open up the door even further for athletes who understand and appreciate being an NFL player, but more importantly, know that like your next chapter could be your best best chapter. I love it, Nate Burleson here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. So, just quick nuts and bolts on it. When when do you start? When do we see you on that set? When does that go? Uh, I, b- I believe se- September seventh okay. is my 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 first day, and then um, from there, I'll still be involved in in the NFL media family and Great. NFL Network. I'm still doing uh, some stuff on um, you know certain tent pole events that the NFL Network has. I'm going to be joining you certain Sundays. Oh, um, fantastic! Talking with you on your show. So, yes. You know, I, I I was I was able to, you know, find a balance between, you know, leaving Good Morning Football and still being part of the NFL Network family. As you know, which I I don't think a lot of people know. Um, you know, I, my first appearance on the NFL Network was back in '03, and mm-hmm. I used to come back every single summer. Yep. There were times where I worked shows. There were times where I worked the NFL AM show times where I did total access and there was times where I just flew myself into California just so I can watch what you guys are doing and just sit back behind the scenes. So this is a long time coming, almost 20 years of a relationship that I've established with the NFL network just so I could um, be in this position now. You know, here's what I love about you, Rich. Um, You have put in work and as much as people can appreciate your your work in, in radio and TV uh, and and what you mean to both sports and football, I don't think people really understand the work that they don't see. You know, similar to an athlete. So um, I'm 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 also one of those guys that I'll sweat and bleed and put in work behind the scenes and then um, kind of reap the rewards afterwards well i mean nate you just don't get and i appreciate you saying what you said nate burleson here on the rich eisen show you don't get as you pointed out, a prized piece of real estate a chair on the set of cbs this morning and cbs news um and 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 without obviously them 
ass- assessing your work uh, uh, on CBS Sports and also with NFL Network and finding out about the, your work ethic and how hard it is. It is so difficult. I mean, I've, the number of times that I've had, um, I've had, you know, um, auditions uh, with players that just come off the field and they feel like, oh, well, I know football, I'll just talk about it. It's so not that. It's so difficult. And then, of course, to be as natural as you are and showing off who you are as a person and what, what, what you're made of. I mean, I, I couldn't be more excited. And I, I, I can't wait to see what you do in the news world as well. It's going to be something to see. And I think it's terrific that CBS saw your abilities to and give you that shot, man. I, I'm very Thank excited you. for that. That's a fact. Thank you. That, that, that means a lot. I, um, you know, I've, I've been working for uh, Extra the last couple of years, and mm-hmm. um, in full transparency, you know, as much as I appreciate the experience working with Extra and them paying me uh, a decent amount, not a mind-blowing amount, but just paying me to work the field, do red carpets, and talk to celebrities, it was it was me really strategizing and, and proving that I can work in that space and talk to um, influencers and, and actresses and, you know, some of the top actors in the world. And I, I remember a few opportunities that I had to talk to J-Lo and Michelle Obama. And I remember doing the red carpet for the Irishman. And a, as I'm sitting here with a microphone, I'm, I'm jostling for position and I literally elbowing other journalists. And I'm like, this isn't, this isn't what I should be doing, but I feel like it's good for me right now at this point in my career. And I'm, I'm reaching my microphone out, and I, I talk to De Niro, and, and, and then Pacino walks by. And I'm, like, I'm like, hey, uh, Al, hey, what's up? Can I, can I get you for a second? And, you know, as I go to introduce myself, I say, hey, listen, I'm, I'm Nate Burleson. I'm a huge fan. And he, he cuts me off. He's like, yeah, I, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you're the, you're, you're the football guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I watch you. You do the morning show. And you do Sundays. He's like, yeah, yeah I, I love football. And, the, and in that moment, um, I, my, I started sweating. Um, I looked at the camera. Hey, I'm literally sweating behind my knees. And I looked at the camera, and I, I, I tried to motion to my producer who was on the field with me in that red carpet. And I said, I said cut, cut the cameras off for a second. I said, Mr. P- Mr. Patino, do you, do you know who I am? And he's like, yeah, 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 I do, I do, and I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm blown away right now. He's like, you, you, you're doing good work. Yeah, I, I see you, and I, um, that meant a lot to me. Not because yeah. I was meeting one of my favorite actors, but it was, it was somebody that was so far removed from the traditional sports space, and he was just saying, I've seen you, I've seen you put in work since you left the NFL, and. Uh, and that that's that's all I've been trying to do. You know, there's listen, Rich, man. There's there's people that look at uh, Nate Burleson being hired by CBS this morning, and they're saying, "What are you guys doing?" You know, Anthony Mason, who's a tremendous, tremendous man. I met him, and he's extremely talented, rich history. You know, some of you know one of the individuals that you 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 can't replace. I understand. The, the hesitation. I understand the trepidation of fans that are saying, well, well, what are we doing here? Are you guys trying to, like, are you guys trying to do the straight hand thing with Nate Burleson? I love straight hand. One of my mentors, um, I, I'm just going to do my path differently. And um, as much as I can say this, um, and this isn't me patting myself on the back, what, what I can say is I was meant for this job. And what I've done over the last seven years have been training so I don't let people down when this opportunity um, presents itself. So um, these are these are the, the the moments before my next chapter um, opens up. And for anybody that has been paying attention to my career, um, just know that nothing nothing has been done accidentally. Everything that I have done up to this point working at the NFL Network, doing digital content, pregame, postgame, watching hosts when they're – like when I would work with you, I would look at you, hmm. I would watch your lips and your body language as you read the teleprompter, and I would try to mimic that. I did the same thing with James Brown. I did it with Dad Helly, Lindsey Rose. The list goes on and on and on. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.